buenos días España. Let me tell you one of the things that I always, always share with everybody anytime that I land at an airport. How the hell to get out of here? Madrid, three options. Well, four, Uber, taxi, bus, and train. See, Uber and anything that has to do with taxi here in Europe is obviously in euros. So it's freaking expensive. And you know that I'm all about saving money. This is what you get when you... This is the car that's gonna let you in the metro. It will take you all the way down to the city. After some quick 25 to 30 minutes in the trains, we made it to the area uh, of Madrid that we were staying. Now to find the hotel or Airbnb, that's the mission. Before we even start exploring this town, let me tell you how we ended up here. Uh, I was browsing through some tickets, some flights, and found out, holy mother of God, that's a huge dog. I found some crazy, crazy, crazy tickets. LA to Madrid was about $300, and I just could not say no. And because we're so close to Morocco and Portugal, we, uh, well, I decided to, why not, let's go. So now we have a three countries, three city trip out of the blue. Uh, what else? Oh, I got a tattoo. I'll explain you that tattoo later on. Before we even get to explore things, mommy wanted to get some alpargatas, which are these little shoes. We are at one of the classic ones, which is Casa Hernandez. Uh, a few of our friends recommended us to stop by and uh, get them from here. I'm gonna go broke on my first day. If you are not familiar with this beautiful jamón, there's something wrong with you. Spain is known for the jamón. The jamón is curated meat. There's different layers and different types of jamón depending on the quality. Think of it as sushi. You can get sushi from every type of fish, but there are levels of quality associated with. Last time we went to Barcelona, we ate tons of jamón. And this time, I don't think we're going to do any different. You can eat jamón with something good, right? Cheers.